How did I become a life and business coach? I've been asked this quite a few times and I thought I would come on today to share that with you and also to give you a space of clarity and awareness if that's the journey that you're setting out to take uh, in your life and in your business. So for me, I gone through a season in my life where it felt like I was just out of order, like unorganized, things weren't going the way they should. It's like no matter how much effort I was putting into things, it felt like I was going in circles. Have you ever felt that way? Put in the comments if you've ever felt that way before. So it led me on a journey to get more consistent with some things. So my mom gave me a planner since I was in high school. And it wasn't until after high school that I actually began to use the planner. And I, she'd give it to me around October of every year prior to the new year coming in. And one day I just picked the planner up and I started writing out just a simple list of things to do. Now, I didn't even keep up with that. So I would do it for a few months and then stop. And then I start really stepping into a space of analyzing my life. And I realized when I was writing in my planner, I got more things done. And so I went on a journey with this planner and I became consistent. I became consistent at, you know, knocking things out the park in my life and my business that I wanted to get done. And then I took another step because I realized although I was getting things done, it wasn't necessarily quantum leaping my life like the way that I wanted it to. So it was giving me a sense of time management and organization, which are really important for you as you're growing your business and building your brand. But it, it wasn't like moving me in this really aligned way with some of the bigger, larger things that I desired. And that's when I began to create a vision for my life and my business. Now, I have several videos on vision. I'm actually going to do a new video on vision. If all goes well, I'll tie it back into this video and you'll be able to get the link to that in the comments at a latter date. But being really connected to vision became powerful. So not only was I becoming more organized, you know, meeting my goals, but I was also focused on long-term goals because your vision is not about where you are now as much as it is where you desire to be. So it's normally a lot further out than where you are now. And because I began doing these things, people in my community started reaching out to me to come and host workshops and seminars on time management. Now, I was a business owner at this particular time. It wasn't this thing that I set out to do. It's just that I had gotten results in my own life in the areas of discipline and time management and organization. In my previous brick and mortar business, I had a staff of 12 people that I was leading. And so these, the time management, the organization became super valuable for me and was also a staple for why I was able to reach the measures of success that I did in my business. But the coaching part, it, it wasn't something that I necessarily set out to do. It's just that people began asking me, like, how a am I getting these things done? And so I began teaching workshops. I My first workshop was actually on vision. Well, the first one that I was paid for by someone outside of myself because I would also host um, seminars and I used to host this program called Relax, Relate, Release for the guest who came to my brick and mortar business. But the first time that someone had actually paid me to come and talk about vision was because I had been operating in that space. And so I share that because if coaching or life coaching or even growing your business is something that you are setting out to do, people will start to gravitate towards you because you've gotten a result in that area. So life coaching 
for me became because I'd gotten a result in that area. And it wasn't like I said, you know, I'm a life coach. At that time, I wasn't a certified life coach, but I was life coaching. I was also sharing the strategies and tools that I was creating for my own life with my clients, and they were getting results. And it became very natural for me to become a life coach. So I was life coaching before life coaching was actually a thing because I, I actually opened my brick and mortar service-based business in 2003 might be telling my age here but yeah so that's really how life coaching became a thing for me in my life as far as business coaching is concerned it kind of happened the same way as well so eventually I had all of these business owners in my community asking me for help in their business and also because I believe that each and every one of us have gifts and talents and i believe that god places those gifts inside of us for a reason and so i share that because the word consulting was actually something that i heard during my prayer time as well now i ignored it shame on me i thank god for grace right i ignored it for about two years and then it came up again but i ignored it because i didn't understand how what i was doing at the time tied into consulting. I really didn't even understand it. It wasn't as big of a thing as it even is now. And so I learned more about coaching and consulting and realized that I had been coaching and consulting previously. I wasn't even charging for it, okay? Before I even knew that it was a thing. But to sum all of it up, I became a life and business coach based on my results. So I chose areas or the areas that I had gotten results in chose me that I had already accomplished a thing in. And so one of the easiest ways for you to move to the next level, whether you are developing a skill set that you can earn a good six figures on, and I'm going to do a video on uh, creating a high income skill set as one of the foundational goals as an entrepreneur as you're going up the the growth track of your business but my skill sets the things that i was doing that i had gotten results in begin to call people into my space and my arena but i was really defined so i started with vision now i do life coach in numerous areas of life at this time but i didn't start out just you know, life coaching people in several different areas. So I coach in the area of recovering after failed relationships and divorces. I was married for 14 years. I was able to build my new business while going through a divorce. I didn't think, you know, that was a thing until people began reaching out to me, asking me, how are you moving forward in spite of? And so the variation of areas that I life coach in was not how I started out. And I think it's really important that if you're really wanting to build and grow, you wanna start out in an area that you have results in, whether it's life coaching, business, business coaching, health coach, something specific and design that you've gotten results in because you can create from that space. The courses and the workshops and things that I taught and trained on, I didn't go to school for that. These were actual results, things that I documented about my own process that, that I ended up putting into a system to be able to teach it to other people in order for them to be able to also get results. And so you don't have to be certified to become a life coach. Um, you can start from an area that you've actually gotten results in. And one of the big mistakes I see for many people who are wanting to coach is trying to coach in very, very broad areas where they aren't niched out or dialed in on specific things. And I get it, that time will come as you begin new levels of mastery, being able to expand and offer more services and more of what you do 
will become a part of what's in your wheelhouse. And so that's just a little on how I began life coaching and business coaching. It was actually because I took the time to do the work. I developed a skill set and which reached, um, especially the business portion of coaching, a high income earning skill. Now to interject, because the community began reaching out to me, I was a brick and mortar business owner at the time in the beauty and wellness industry, but that wasn't the only industry that was reaching out to me. There was a variation of businesses reaching out to me for help in their business. I remember one of my clients asking me, where did I get my MBA? I had to pause for a moment because I was in the beauty and wellness industry and MBA wasn't like just ordinary lingo we use all the time. And I was like, she's talking about a master's. I don't have a master's in this, but I did go on a journey of mastery, which is why when I'm working with my clients, we really get defined on their superpowers, a niche, and things of that nature so they can step into a, ne a level of mastery and be seen as an expert for a specific thing. And as you begin to grow, you'll be able to you know, move into different arenas and different areas. When I first brought my coaching and consulting business online, because I started it while I was still a brick and mortar business owner, I got really clear on the area of business, my niche that I would begin operating in. Not that I wasn't capable, right, of serving many different industries because I had done that prior to coming online, but I knew that there was a lot going on in these internet streets and it would be easy for me, a no, no name in the internet streets to get lost in the sauce. Now I had a video with over 40,000 views prior to me coming online that was on YouTube, but I still knew that that was one video, right? I'm grateful for that video, it still brings me clients to this particular day. That's why I tell you guys video is king, but I have some other content on uh, the importance of video. And it's also one of the things I teach inside my academy, the four videos that every business needs. So that video has been powerful, but at the same time, I knew I needed to get defined so that I could speak to a particular individual, a particular industry, a particular niche. And I chose the beauty and wellness industry at first, right? Because if you're going to do this thing for a living, you're gonna need money to fulfill whatever that call is you feel you have on your life. It requires you to have income as well and so i got really defined and then once i made a mark in the beauty and wellness industry as a coach i went full circle and began teaching several different industries again so i hope that in the midst of me sharing my story of becoming a life and business coach you found some nuggets i'd love to hear it in the comments what stood out for you what was an aha moment what is something that you are going to do differently about how you're growing and building your business at this particular time based on what you heard in this video and let me know is becoming a life coach or a health coach or a wellness coach something that you desire to do in your own business maybe is training or teaching a skill set that you have actually mastered that has become a high income earning skill for you and you're now ready to step into coaching and consulting or maybe it's branding and marketing and some of the more foundational things that you need as you're building out your service-based business or your coaching business um, i have a track it's a 12-month track called 3d success academy for women in business where i walk you through branding and marketing and defining your niche and creating content and all the foundational things you would need to build your brand from the ground level to at least 10K months or better, right? And so that's 3D Success Academy. You can find the link in the comments, but let me know uh, for you, like, is this something that you are wanting to do in the future or you've been doing for quite some time, but you're just not getting the results that you desire? You can also message me here. We can hop on a call.